This is a brief overview of the process faculty will use to upload a syllabus to Blackboard. For the faculty appendix, all faculty must upload a syllabus to each course in Blackboard and make their courses available to students. When you are logged into Blackboard, click on the Courses link in your course menu. On the Courses page, select the course that you want to add the syllabus to. On the Syllabus page, click on Syllabus. On the Syllabus page, you'll see instructions with helpful links and information if you need to create a syllabus, as well as the instructions that review how, how to um, add the syllabus to this page. When your syllabus is ready, roll your mouse over Build Content and choose Item. On the Create Item screen that appears, give this item a name. If desired, you can add text instructions for the students. If your syllabus is a Word document or PDF, scroll down to the Attachments area and click on Browse Local Files. A window will appear uh, where you can navigate and locate and select your syllabus on the computer and click Open. The file will be attached to the Attachments area on the page. As a final step, click Submit. And the syllabus will be attached as an item on the page. Now, if you wanted to reposition this item so it appears at the top, you just roll your mouse over the item, click and drag it and drop it, like so. So now the syllabus item with the attached file is at the top of the page. Now, if you have a syllabus in a different format, such as a uh, Google document, what you can do to share this with students in Blackboard is first, when viewing the Google document, click the share button in the right corner and make sure that your share permissions are set to anyone with link. That'll make it so that anybody who sees this link will be able to see the syllabus without any additional login requirements. If you don't see anyone with link here, click change and then click the drop down and then you can select anyone with link from the list of options. Once you have this link's permission set, click copy link. That will copy the URL to your computer's clipboard. Now back in your course in Blackboard, on the syllabus page, roll your mouse over build content and choose web link. All you'll do here on this form is give this a name, such as syllabus, paste that URL into the URL box. If desired, you can add some text instructions for the student. Otherwise, just click submit and the link will be posted to the page like so. And I'm just going to click and drag it up so it's at the top of the page. So notice the difference here. Um, the item has a little paper icon here and it, a file to download. You'll see the file extension there. The syllabus that's a Google document is just a link with the hyperlink icon. Now you can preview this as a student will experience it by clicking on the student preview mode icon like so and you can navigate the syllabus and make sure that your syllabus is available. So you can click and download uh, the file here and it will open in your computer's word processing program. And then here's the, the link that's a Google document. If I click this, it'll just open up in a new browser window like so. Okay. Once you have your course prepared and your syllabus uploaded, make sure that your course is available to students. You can do this in a couple ways. In the top right corner of the screen, look for your padlock icon. If it is red, like this, that means the course is unavailable. You can click on that icon to make it available on the start date. Now, there are ways to uh, adjust the availability of the course through your course's properties if desired. You can go to Customization and Properties and adjust the properties under the Set Duration area. If you wanted to make this course available to students earlier than the start date, you can just choose continuous and that removes the influence of the start date entirely and click submit. So now when students come to Blackboard and come to the courses page here, they should be able to just jump right into the course and start viewing content.